Mum tells me to sleep just before every day. Well done, congratulations, Ben.
Damien. Congratulations, Luke, for everything you've done. And 
We're going to now start formally with our first and next presentation. But before we start, I'd like Luke to say a few words in relation to the team and how they how we thought they went this year. And especially those two point wins when he had four or five players missing. Well done. Thank you, George. Um, first of all, um, yeah, like I said before, thanks to the committee and the club for um, yeah, taking us in and giving us a chance to uh, coach the boys, which um, we really enjoyed. Um, Carla, for being our manager, she did a great job. 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 PJ, John, um, Lee. Uh, Derek, everyone that put their hand up to give us a hand made a big difference. Um, it's not easy, you know, good bunch of kids, but um, it's not easy uh, showing up to training every week, every game. But there's always something, you know, with these boys, but they did well. Um, yeah, we started a bit slow in the season, but once we sort of got going, um, unfortunately we just were, had too many injuries all the year. And I think uh, there was times when we had players out, but that's when we really showed good character as a team, and we learned to work together and work hard for each other, and uh, you should be really proud of that, boys, because those games when we had 12, 13, and we're struggling, and then thanks to the 14s, um, they all stuck up for us, played up for us. They just told me us to play, they showed up, made a big difference, and I really appreciate that, boys. And that'll make you stronger for next year too. <coughs> um, yeah, that's good. <coughs> hey boys, really, what you did this year, I know you started off over full, and then I remember at Beckley you had probably 11 players, and then how many 14s there, eh? and you were still winning. I used to walk up to Luke, Luke's white face, ah! Oh. <laughs> now it's not got injuries. No, no, Luke, the boys are going to leave. Tell them they're going to leave. <coughs> And what did they do, Luke? And I said, mate, towards the year, some of the boys came back. Unfortunately, they're all two points. There was no big score lines. There were two points, four points, one point. Huh? Should have stayed with 11 players. <laughs> but anyway, great achievement. And now we'll give it to Jordan, to the trainers, and get the boys up. All right, guys. Um, congratulations. Carl, I'll give you a hand up. Yeah, wait a minute. Uh-huh. 
Firstly, on behalf of himself, he given a defender's award to Ronnie Cole, all the not the the set fashion for the fence is showing no fear in the duty his side. There's a reason why he's called the Great Ball of China, best defender in China. Ronnie Wong. The other one is, he said, no matter the most consistent player, whether it's rain, hell or shine, he always turns up for training. And he's, even if he's not fit and well, doesn't use him as good to play ball. Consistently plays out his game week in, week out. And I know this is very true of him, and that's William Lewis. So. Yeah. 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 The most improved for the St. John's first thing for this year is Jay White Hamu. A player that I'll uh, announce, a runner up, best and fairest. Um, he, wa he wasn't here, but he got injured a few days from the end of the season. He's unbelievable, he's a, he's a real, real good kid, very consistent. A defensive wall is unbelievable on his edge, and that's Joseph Henry. So, that's right. Another award goes for the player of the finals to Riley Fromm. Brian McCullough Players Players Trophy for 2023. It's a very um, prestigious award, and that goes to William Lewis. Okay, look, these awards we usually have, as I was trying to explain to those, you probably don't know, they're bigger trophies. But we are revamping them because as the club's 70 years, there's not enough space on the plant. So we do not want to change the, the awards. We're just trying to get bigger places to be at. After the boys is finished, I'll get up a lot further. We could probably speak a little bit more on what these awards mean and what these people like these awards on behalf of the name of us on behalf of given. So this is the, the, the Jessup Memorial Shield and for the most, most game played. Okay, and it goes to Simon Anger. Some years we had 30 and 32 teams and a lot of players, a lot of great football teams have gone through this club. And this team, the first survey, is our premier team. It's the, the most important team in our club. These three awards, I just wanted to let you know what they're about. So the under 14s who are coming through next year, when you play first survey, you know what they're about. 
Dennis Jessup was a man who was devoted to St. John's. He coached for years and years. His sons played. His sons went to the school. He was a good friend of Joe's. Dennis passed away. And the award for most games, this club only went to under 15s for a long time. So the award for most games was named after Dennis. And the congratulations to the winner tonight. But that's what Dennis was about. He was about playing for St. John's, getting the first 13. That was the epitome of your career. Because at 15, you become a man. You look to represent in football. The next award was the um, Brian McCullough Trophy for players player. Brian McCullough. Brian McCullough invented the first living concept. He was the guy who came up with it in 1974. And this award is named after Brian. And um, a very, very important award for the man who came up with this concept of this team, which is the most important in our club. Mark Cronk Trophy for the player's player. Mark Cronk was a man we played for St John's, went through the school, very, very popular guy, very, very good footballer, passed away in 1981 in a car accident. His car was named, this award was named after him, it was a memorial to Mark. His mum worked at St John's, his brothers went to St John's, they are St John's through and through, and um, that's why the award is held in such high esteem. So guys, I just thought you'd like to know that, the under 40s next year, I hope you aim to, to, to earn these awards, work towards these awards, and that's what St John's is all about. So guys, congratulations to the guys who won it and that's what it's for. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. And boys, you know what the Jersey Press faction has told you what first 15 means to the club and what it means and obviously now what these trophies means and what it means to Kieran from Joe Carrens. Next year's got 50 years for for the first 13. So you know what, Tom, the, the award you got there? 50 years now. So that's what it means. You know, the guy was here 50 years ago and he's become man. Congratulations, we thank you, and thank you for making us proud. But now, he's got to do a big Zumba. When did your coaching start? <laughs> huh? Now, pressure. Oh, one sec. Before you do the Zumba. I'm a half of the boys and the training coaching staff. We're going to present uh, the big hang to Carla, our manager. Oh. <laughs> take the shirts off. Don't take the shirts off. On three, boys. Three, two, one. Two more, two. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday. 